Hi guys, Roll from Simple Wi-Fi and Antenna World. Uh, today I'm on a job site uh, acting as Antenna World doing an installation for a cellular repeater. So I figured I'd just walk you through the installation, show you what I did, and uh, hopefully you can get some tips and uh, learn something. So we're in North Atlanta, uh, 10,000 square foot home, and we are inside of a valley. There is barely any signal out here at all. Uh, there are cellular towers in the area, but like I said, I mean, we're in a valley. We're covered by other big houses and hills and stuff, so there is no signal. No carrier is, bait is reaching out here. Uh, this is a three-story house, or really two, with a big basement. Uh, the head end is in the bottom of the basement, and we're going to put an antenna on the roof and redistribute that signal throughout the house. Okay, so the most important part of your cell booster system is going to be the incoming antenna. So the signal that's coming in from the outside down to the repeater and then being boosted. Uh, as you can see up here, I've got a directional and an omnidirectional. I'm still testing this part. I've already got all my cables in at this point, but uh, I need to get better placement for the outside antenna. I tried to go inside the attic because uh, there is a lot of attic space and the owners were trying to keep the outside nice and clean. Unfortunately, there's, uh, there's too many ducts and too much wood up there to get enough signal outside. So I did have to go outside. I'm going to run this penetration now. Just wanted to get this video done before the rest of the construction crew comes in. It gets pretty loud. So as you can see, um, I got a directional log periodic, about uh, 14 dBi uh, on the high bands. So on the uh, 17 to 2100, and uh, about 8 to 10 dBi on the low band, so 700, 800. And I've got it pointed out to a tower. So I got pretty good signal there, and then I decided to try it with the Omni to see what kind of uh, signal I can get. Uh, since, like I said, we're in the valley, it's, you know, we're getting a lot of reflections off of the houses and other hills and stuff. So sometimes the Omni could work really well for that to kind of grab bouncing signal instead of going directly to the tower. Uh, in this case, it really didn't make a difference. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put in the analyzer and check what kind of uh, towers I can see by moving the antenna around and what's important to the client is actually AT&T and uh, <clears throat> we're going to make that signal better using the analyzer in a directional antenna. For now, I'm going to uh, just keep testing, uh, but like I said, let me show you the rest of the house, where I ran cable, how I did it, and uh, I'll go from there. Okay, so now we're in the attic. Uh, this is where I wanted to mount the antenna, right here. You can see the cable. I ran my cable there already, but I wasn't getting enough signal. So uh, I'm actually going to be running it over this down to that corner, and that's where that, uh, that pole mount is. And it's going to come down this, uh, this nice little path that uh, the wireless guys did for me. This is running all the way down to the head end and uh, splitting and providing internet for the rest of the house and power and stuff like that. So I uh, just shared on that line and uh, zip tied it along. You could do that with low voltage. And uh, we'll make our way down to the head end and then spread around uh, the house. Okay, so this is going to be the head end. Uh, there's my amplifier. I'm using a Wilson Pro 70 and you can see everything is still under construction. All the data cables are coming into here and uh, we're in the basement so everything's pretty dark so sorry about that uh, what I'm doing here is I got the outside antenna coming in and then I'm splitting to two zones in the house so you want to try to eliminate splits as much as possible but you also don't want to run hundreds and hundreds of feet of cable so you got to play with that um, in this case uh, I used a minus 60V split, so a two-way uh, power divider. And I'm going one to the left of the house and one to the right. So uh, this part of the basement uh, didn't need coverage. It is all going to be storage. But what we got over there is going to be a fitness room and a man cave or a, a media room. So we'll check that out now. Okay, so like in every installation, uh, aesthetics is really important. 
they wanted to try to minimize the the views of these antennas. So we're putting an omnidirectional, see if I can get it right there, uh, in the fitness room. Okay. This is uh, actually being fed from a four-way split I have on the second floor. And we'll, I'll show you that now. But since we're on the basement, everything is covered down here uh, from a four-way split. So I have cable running up, splitting back down, and then up to different areas of the house. Uh, what I've got here is a fitness room and then the media room back there and that army will cover uh, this whole area All right, so as you can see here, I have two cable paths. We're now on top of the fitness center or fitness room <clears throat> and I'm running cable up to a four-way split right there Let me zoom in that's my four-way okay so I've got one antenna here and I'm feeding two out that way for a panel that's gonna cover let's see if we can get a picture of the panel yeah right there behind the cable so that's gonna cover that hallway it's gonna shoot signal down that hallway I've got this Omni here in the master bath and that'll cover the master bedroom and closets. And then that second cable, so I got one that's feeding directly from the amp. The second cable is that antenna that I just showed you in the fitness room. Okay, and then that case, there's another, uh, so I mentioned there was two cables that way, one panel going towards the hallway and covering that area, the main floor. And they really wanted to get a signal out into the backyard so I ran another cable all the way to here and I'm gonna hide it they're gonna hide it behind the drywall I got an antenna right there and it is covering this part of the backyard so that antenna is about a 60 degree spread so it should cover nicely out there so there's uh, cellular coverage in the backyard okay so we just covered zone one or one side of the house and the other zone uh, starts off right here so I ran cable down or yeah down that uh, Ethernet power line where everyone's running cable through and I've got a uh, three-way split up there so I split onto that to a, another Omni another Omni right up here and the idea is that this is going to be the garage, uh, laundry, kitchen, and it's going to be a lot of metal and a lot of appliances around here, and that just kills signal. So I actually put two Omnis uh, relatively close to each other. So I've got the hallway panel that we talked about in zone one. That's coming from over there. And then I got the Omni on both sides. And one of these Omnis, the one that this guy is actually pushing out into the patio area so I've got most of the house covered real nice uh, everything is looking really good there's only one more antenna off of this zone that we're going to cover now I'll show you okay so this is the top view of the Omnis that we just saw there you can see my three-way split and I'm running cable along here to the other Omni I gotta button this up here before I go. And I've got a panel up here. So this panel is flooding the guest rooms and another bedroom. And uh, they were really trying to push, like I said, aesthetics. They didn't want antennas up on the wall and uh, or on the roof. And the ideal place for this was gonna be somewhere in the middle, but uh, they were they were adamant about keeping this back room, which is going to be an art room, uh, without any uh, any uh, antennas and flush and really pretty and all that. So I decided to just uh, use a directional panel and beam signal through here. So this is the third floor. We're just below below the attic, and as you can see, everything in the house is covered. Okay. Side note: I ended up moving this antenna from. Uh, inside to outside where the garage area was 
So uh, you can see behind me all this brick and everything. Uh, it was really going to make a, uh, a signal getting out here tough. So I decided to just go a little bit further and I got it outside and now this nice uh, patio area has got coverage from that Omni. Alright guys, now you see what a DAS repeater installation is like. Uh, this job took me about three days. Uh, it was really nice that they called me in at the right time. Uh, usually we get calls after the fact, meaning drywall is up, uh, the house is almost done, and then they need to get cellular coverage. And we have to go in, make holes, the drywall guys have to come in after us and repair. And it just gets really expensive and a lot more hassle because you're trying to keep things uh, without breaking and keeping them nice as possible. So uh, this was all framing. I was able to make my wood penetrations wherever I needed to. Uh, it was really the ideal uh, scenario for the client and myself, uh, which kept costs down and uh, was able to finish install a lot quicker. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, of course, always feel free to contact us. Uh, we do our DAS installations through antennaworld.com. That is a factory for cellular repeaters and, uh, and consulting and, of course, the laboratory. If you have any questions regarding Wi-Fi, simplewifi.com. We have agents available to help you through, through any scenario you might have. Thanks.